Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another video. It's been a very long time. Hello there. And <laughs> what a lot of people have been asking me in my messages in my on, on my Twitter as well um, is for settings for the new. Um, sorry, I can't think right now. Um, the the new um, S14 uh, because I've been running this car pretty much since let's say. Uh, the Titan mod came out. It's one of my favourite cars. Um, I just the car just seemed to work for me, so I just stuck with it. Um, you can change the colours a bit. You could have a paint job if you want to. Look at that. Oh, damn, son. Uh, but yeah, those are colours. It's a beautiful car. One of my favourite cars, to be honest. So, um, yeah. That's, what colour did I have? I had white, didn't I? Let's go for a different colour. Let's go for like red. Red. Oh yeah. So it's 470 brake horsepower, so it's a very powerful car um, <coughs> to control. So let's get into the race. I'll show you the settings. I'll show you how it drifts, and yeah, I'll show you from there. Okay, so here's the car. Look at this car. S14 Kuki. Kuki. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Just look at the beautifulness of this car. Um, this is the tune I'm going to be giving you today. Um, let's get rid of that. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, S14 is probably my favourite S chassis to be fair, I just I just love the curves of it. It's got like the S13 feel but with curves. Um, the S15 I think it takes it a bit too far. Um, I prefer the S13 over the S15. Uh, but this car, the curves are just beautiful, I just can't get over them. Anyway, let's stop perving over a car because you know that's not normal really. Um, <laughs> and let's jump into the tune. This is what everyone was asking for so let's get on with it. Um, I've got it set up, you can save your setups here if you type in a name here and press save once you put this all in simple simple um, gearing, this all depends on the track really um, if it's a t really tight track I might put the final gear ratio like one more that way or if it's a long track well to be fair if it's a long track I'll just stick it there um, if it's a really tight track I might might do that but to be honest you just use different gears like use gear 2 if it's a tight track like, there's no difference but if you want any of these just pause the video and copy them down um, so tyres uh, this all depends on the lobby as well like if you're running with people that are really fast you might want to up it like you might want to go to the motorsport even though you'd be incredibly fast um, it all depends on what people are running inside the inside the lobby basically um, so you can down the tyre pressure if you want a little bit more speed down it um, get some more tyre on the road Fuel, that's up to you, you can have whatever. Um, suspension. Oh, suspension. Okay, I didn't really change this tune too much, it's probably mostly all stock, so just have a look. Uh, wheel rate, it's all on 20s, like, you start on 20s. I, I didn't really change this tune. Um, so I just want to show you guys this tune just so you, you know, can copy it down and see if it tries for you, uh, see if it works for you. <laughs> see if it tries for you. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, just pause it and copy it down. Um, simple, simple. I think camber's the stock. I don't think I changed it too much. Maybe in the rear I changed it because um, it might have been 0.5 actually. So I changed that quite a lot. Um, drivetrain, 9090. I haven't I haven't changed drift preload uh, drift. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't trained. <laughs> I can't speak. Help! <laughs> I haven't done videos in such a long time. I've actually lost how to speak. All right, diff preload. I haven't changed it yet. This tune works for me, so I don't see a need of changing it. Um, on generic, max it out on both. Engine limiter, you want as much um, limit as you can. So let's jump into here. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys how this car actually drifts. Um, oh, one more thing as well. Down the right hand side now, um, you now have the force feedback controller. I've got mine set on 72. If you like strong force feedback, you, you might want to up it because look how loose this is. Um, it's completely up to you, like what feels good for you. Um, but I have it on 72, um, but you can have it softer if you want it. I don't think you'll want it softer though. Um, but yeah, it's completely, completely up to you. But also, you want to press zero on your keyboard, get the turbo to 100%. That's key. Anyway, let's try and get this car sideways. Let's get this car feeling nice. So we're on English Town. Uh, we'll start on this section over here. It's a little bit of an easier section, and it will get me into feeling the car a tiny bit more. Because I haven't actually drove or drifted today. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, I switched down into gear 2 there. Um, you do have to use the gears in this car. Um, you can't use too much angle through this bit. 
uh, but you need to go up into gear 3 there. You can drop down a gear if you want to, it's completely up to you, uh, but this car feels absolutely amazing for me. It works down to the wire, it's, it's amazing. This S14 is spot on, Like, there's no need to change my car at the moment because I've just got a car that just works with me. Um, I can keep up with people, I've got the speed, um, but then I've also got like when I'm leading, I don't, I don't just pull away, so it's good. That was close to the wall. That was just a bit of a silly, silly gear change there. Um, up into gear three for this bit because you have to go a little bit shallow um, to get into here, and then down into gear two and spin it round the last corner. Spot on. I absolutely love this car. It's just. Everything's perfect about it. Uh, there's no need to change it, so yeah, it's pretty much a stock tune as well. Like you could probably jump in these Titan cars and they'll just drift like just straight out of the box. So no need to change them. Let's try the left-hand side section. Um, the entry on this side is a lot harder. Um, it's probably a one million percent chance that I won't do this, uh, but let's let's throw it in and see what happens. Oh, that was close to the wall. I felt the grass on my wheels, man. We made the we made the entry though. That's good. Um, but that, <laughs> that was close to the wall. I might, I might actually look at the replay on that because I felt the grass on my back wheels. And when you're on the grass, it's pretty much the like tire wall is right there. So I think it was a little, little, a little bit too crazy. You know? Getting a little bit, a little bit cozy over there. Um, but yeah, I'm, my drifting is normally a tiny bit smoother. Uh, but when I record, my FPS seems to drop down a little bit, and it does affect you. I'm not going to lie. I'm not making an excuse though, because I'm still drifting fine. So let's try that section once more, and I think that'll be it for this video. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this entry down a little bit better, even though that was a sick entry. I was close to the wall there. Alright, let's try it once more. Oh my god! No, no, <laughs> those bumps killed me. Fuck, that was a sick entry. I was, I think that was nearly reverse actually. Um, so yeah, let's take one more look at this car. Look at this bad boy. Look at it. Look at her. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, if you want to see more cars, I can test out some more cars, get some tunes going. And yeah, give this a like. Hope this gets. It, let's. Let's get over 20 likes on this. Um, just for like a comeback, you know? I'm on my way back. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.